Hey girl, it's Ryan Morrell and girl, in today's video we will be doing a back to school haul and I am so excited and so happy that we are finally doing this video because if you've been part of my channel for a while, you'll know that I usually start the back to school series with a back to school haul. But you know, because of the pandemic and the quarantine, I wasn't able to go out and buy some supplies. But since things are a little bit more flexible now and stores are opening up, I was able to go and grab, you know, quickly grab some things to show you guys. And if you want to know what my whole back to school shopping experience during the quarantine was like I did vlog about it I uploaded it last Wednesday so I'll link that down below for you guys or just click this card over here and by the way at the end of this video we do have a little giveaway so make sure to stay till the end for that but of course before we begin if you have not yet subscribed to this channel I would love to have you be a part of our little family so make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it to get notified every single time I post a video Wednesday and Saturday 2 p.m. Okay, so let's get started. I went to two places. I went to Muji, of course, a classic, you know me, and I went to National Bookstore as well. First, we have Muji. If you guys watched my back to school haul last year, you'll know that I bought a ton of stuff from Muji. I didn't buy that many stuff this time around because I am transitioning to fully digital notes, especially since my university is going fully online for the first semester. First, we have a binder. If you know me, girl, you expected this. I bought a binder and this is a B5 binder. So I, I'm just very indecisive when it comes to my binder sizes. Like I've literally tried all the binder sizes in Muji. The first semester of freshman year, I started with the A4 binder, which is the biggest one that they have. And then I realized that it was just way too bulky. So I switched to the A5 binder, which is this one, which is like almost like half the size which i actually really liked but i do think that it is a little bit too small like whenever i read my notes i'd have to like squint a little bit so now i'm transitioning <laughs> i'm switching to the b5 which is the middle size see we have the whole fam here yeah so i started with this then I moved on to this and now we're going to Goldilocks just right just in the middle <laughs> yeah. so this is what I'll be using for this school year honestly probably until my senior year until I graduate because I think this is a pretty good size and yes I did mention that I am going fully digital but again I do still want to print my notes so that I don't know I just like having a physical copy of my notes which is why I got the B5 binder and of course to pair I got the paper I got a pack of 200 sheets of lined B5 paper. So I noticed in Muji, they don't sell 100 sheets of lined paper anymore. They only sell in a pack of 200, but it's fine. I feel like this pack honestly will last me the whole year. Next we have notebooks. Now why did I buy a pack of notebooks even though I'm going fully digital this year? Honestly, I don't know. I just... I can't resist. I can't. I just like have to buy a pack of notebooks. Like I have a collection of notebooks, just like unused notebooks in my stationery closet. Like I don't know, girl. Like I just love notebooks, so I don't really know how I can justify this, but we have a pack of five notebooks. Next, you have a planner. And I was so happy when I found this. I didn't know Muji sold this type of planner. These are monthly planners. So the one that I bought last year was a weekly planner. But personally, I prefer a monthly planner because when I schedule things, I like to see like how full the week before is, the week after, so I can you know know when to schedule tasks. So having a monthly planner is just so helpful for me. I've been wanting this for so long. Like, I've been making my own. They haven't been that cute, so I'm happy that they have a monthly planner now. Next, we have a little notepad, and I'm obsessed with notepads. I always like to have one on my desk because, you know, whenever I have to write stuff down or whenever I have to write, like, my to-do list for the day, notepads. This one is made from recycled paper, which obviously is always a bonus, and I like it because it just looks super sleek. So, yeah, this has... 200 sheets as well of recycled paper very very nice and by the way all the muji stuff that are part of the giveaway i'll just show at the end of the video okay so i bought a couple of organizers just a few from muji because i really like how just minimal and sleek their organizers are i would have bought more but they are pretty expensive especially if you compare their organizers to like the ones you can buy from lazada and shopee like they had like the pull out drawers which i think were like almost 2000 and on lazada it's like 250 Peso. so I couldn't I just couldn't justify buying it so instead I just bought other things that weren't sold in Lazada so first we have this let me just open this a little ASMR
Yeah, I feel like that noise wasn't really calming, but it's okay. Okay, so this is what I got, and this is just like a notebook or a file or a paper organizer, and I like how it's just super sleek. You know, that's why I love Muji organizers because they just look super minimal, super clean. Oh my god, my necklace was like but like that the whole time i'm so sorry but yeah this is what it looks like and you can just put your notebooks here your folders your binders and it looks super cute and super sleek since it's just acrylic and it's see-through yeah so i'm just gonna be putting this on my desk and i will be filming a desk tour very very soon okay maybe like august like the beginning of august it's scheduled already so if you want to know what my desk looks like you have to wait till then. And I got two more organizers, and they're just these really small organizers. Very simple, very minimal, and I plan to just put some pens here. You know, I bought two, maybe one for like Muji pens and one for like markers. I don't know yet, but we got two. Now we have all the writing supplies. So I didn't buy a ton because I still have like quite a lot of Muji pens. So we got two black gel pens, a blue one, a red one. We got a black clickable pen, a pink and a blue clickable pen, a yellow highlighter, and two ink refills. Okay, now we're moving on to National Bookstore. So for National Bookstore, this is where I like to buy like other supplies, just like small stuff, you know, but when it comes to like papers and notebooks and binders, Muji is my go-to place. Y'all know that. So all the things I bought from National are kind of random so first we have sticker paper if you guys watch my how i prep my school supplies video last year you'll know why i use this i make my own name tags and we will be having a school supply prep for this year video which is going up next week so next wednesday no 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 yeah next wednesday so stay tuned for that so this isn't the sticker paper i normally buy i think the one that i used to buy it was like the best buy brand but they didn't have that so i bought this instead and girl when i got home i realized that i still had sticker paper so i didn't have to buy a new pack i could have saved 52.75 pesos but this is what i bought it's just the satin sticker paper from asia and then i got some whiteboard markers because i do want to buy a whiteboard i think it'll be super helpful to have a whiteboard especially when online classes start just so that it'll be easier to just keep track of my schedule and my classes and my deadlines and all that so i am planning to buy one um in the vlog you probably saw that i spent so much time picking a whiteboard um i didn't end up buying any of them because i just wasn't fully satisfied like one was too long one was too big i couldn't find like the gold lock size you know the one that was just right so i said you know just be patient just wait don't buy something that you don't really like because you're just gonna regret it so i didn't buy anything but i did buy some markers so i got a purple and a black one from pilot oh and this is refillable yeah that's why it looks kind of chunky <laughs> yeah it's because you can refill it which is always nice you know save packaging and all that and then i bought some mounting tape because when i do get a whiteboard i don't want to drill it into the wall because i don't really want to do anything permanent to my room because i might end up not liking it then there'll just be like two random holes in the middle of my wall so i would rather just mount it using tape so this one is the 3m indoor permanent mounting tape and what drew me is that it says that it can hold 4.2 kilos that's a lot because I don't think my my whiteboard is gonna be that heavy but yeah I bought this it was kind of expensive this one was 253 pesos I didn't know mounting tape was that expensive because I usually just like add it to my parents cart when they go to like Ace Hardware or Home Depot <laughs> but um now that I bought it myself I know that this is expensive oh and then I found like the coolest thing well to me it's cool it might not actually be cool this is a glue stick pen from Best Buy? I have never seen this. If you know me, if you've watched my back to school hauls, you know that I'm obsessed with gluey tape, but I still have a lot of those, so I bought this instead. I'm thinking it's like a pen, but instead of ink, glue comes out. That's what I'm envisioning, because if it's not that, I'll be very disappointed. Okay, let's, let's do the reveal. The reveal of this glue stick pen. Okay, here's the reveal. Oh. Yeah, this is not what I was expecting. It's basically just, it's just like your regular paste. I was expecting like it to look like an actual pen and have glue come out. Um, yeah, this is definitely disappointing. Okay, and then we bought a cutter because girl, 
for Lazada and Shopee packages. <laughs> it's so tiring. Okay, tiring is an overstatement, but like it'd be just so much more convenient if I just had a cutter to just like slice all my packages open. So I got one. I, ha I actually have one, but it's like put bud already, so I have to get a new one. Oh, I also bought a few stuff, but they're not for school. Should I still show you guys? Okay, I already showed you. Let's just show you. Okay, so I bought some paint. I bought some acrylic paint because I bought a bunch of frames from Lazada, but they're not the color that I want, so I'm gonna be repainting them for my room. So I'm gonna either be painting them white or black or gray. So I bought black and white paint. Black and white paint. So of course, since I bought some paint, I had to buy some paint brushes. Now I am not an artist. I am not a painter, so I have no idea what paint brushes to, to, to pick. So I bought three. I bought this big industrial, it's not industrial, just like this big boy paintbrush. This one, which is like, I was gonna say for painting houses, no, you can't paint a house with this, but this is a big brush. This one was 39 pesos, so this one, so that it's like just quick and easy. And then I bought a middle brush. <laughs> This one was 55 pesos. And then I bought a small brush for like the details, for like the edges and stuff. And it's just like this. They're all very stiff. Will these soften when I wet it? They probably will. That's probably a really dumb question. <laughs> but yeah, that's everything that I got from National Bookstore that ends the haul. Now we're gonna move on to the giveaway. So this is what you'll be winning for this giveaway. Most of the stuff are from Muji. Some stuff are just little stationary, cute stuff that I wanted to add. Of course, of course, of course, of course. You guys know I'm the binder queen. Okay, self-proclaimed binder queen. So I had to include a binder in this giveaway. This is a clear A5 binder. And of course, since I got you a binder, you'll be getting two packs of A5 paper as well. So there, this is your binder package. And I wanted to add this as well because after my Muji haul last year, I got so many DMs from you guys asking like, oh, where can I buy a binder? Like, oh, I wanna buy one, but there's no Muji in my area. So I wanted to include this for you guys. Next, you'll be getting a pack of notebooks. And yes, this is the same one that I got. Again, it's a pack of five B5 notebooks, hopefully for all your subjects this coming school year. And of course we have of the monthly planner. I fell in love with this and I just love the idea of a monthly planner. So of course I wanted to get you guys one as well just in case like me you also love monthly planners. So there. You'll also get some pens. You'll be getting a highlighter and four Muji gel pens. Now for the cute stationary stuff you'll be getting this pack of rose gold binder clips, pins, paper clips. Super cute. And I wanted to add a few like, cute stationary stuff just in case you guys are into like bullet journaling or you want to decorate your notebooks. So we have this little, I don't even know what you call this, but it's like an Instagram social media thing you can add to your notebooks. We have some cute stickers, this hexagon marble post-it, all these like super cute cutouts that you can just use to decorate your bullet journals, and this pack of Paris stickers. So that's everything you can win for this giveaway. To enter, all you have to do is one, subscribe to this channel and turn on my post notifications by clicking the bell button next to it. Number two, follow my Instagram at Ryan Morell. And lastly, comment below your Instagram username. And that's it. That's all you have to do to enter this giveaway. And this giveaway will end next month and I will contact the winner via Instagram. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next Wednesday, 2 p.m. Bye, girl.